Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. This is a pick a card reading for why can't I sleep at night or why does it take me so long to get to sleep at night? So, um, you guys know what I mean. This is just something that I was led to do. I actually don't have a problem sleeping at night at all. Um, I'm usually very tired, like, all the time, so maybe I'll do a pick a card reading on that, but I have no problems falling asleep, but, so this just came to me, because I guess, um, maybe a number of people, number of people do, but I will say this, um, when my baby was having a problem with that, I looked up certain, um, crystals that could help and I was hearing that these lipedialites help with that both of these are lipedialites it's just one of them is tumbled and I heard that this jade jade works with that so this is a snowflake jade egg and now I don't know about green adventuring I just felt necessary to put it out there as maybe and I know this uh Oh, I forgot the name of this. I'll put it in the description below if I can remember the name of this. Um, what's the name of this? But um, I know this has to do with sorting out thoughts and things of the mind and stuff like that. And I really kind of felt like um, I remember you had a couple of things on your mind. And I know that this helps me go to sleep when I am occasionally... I feel like really restless at night times. Sometimes I can pick up on certain energies and the reason why I don't like to upload videos at night time, even though I know people are going to watch them at night. I just don't like to upload them at night because sometimes I pick up on different energies and then I get restless and this always helps me, this Labrador right here. Uh, I'm not so sure why I was led to put out this um, this I'm just trying to think of the name of this. I think this is a red jasper. If this has anything to do with sleep, I don't know. But I was just led to put this out here in my selenite. Always gives, um, to me, like I always say, like, selenite, it just fixes everything. And it just has a real calming energy all the time. So today, we're just going to do cards, um... How am I going to name you guys today? Let's just name you guys three, two, one. Something simple, cause maybe you're watching this at night, and um, even though you're having trouble sleeping, you might be going in and out right now. So uh, I don't want to do the typical one, two, three. But we are going to kind of keep it simple and go three, two, one. There's a couple of cards under each one. I don't know. So let's see why you're having trouble. You guys see my OCD? <laughs> Do you notice that? I just have to have them straight. And every time I like bump them, I feel like they have to be straight. So um, those of you who led to cards three, let's see why you are having trouble sleeping at night okay so these are your cards the seek card and a strength card and immediately i feel like your spiritual team is telling you to continue to like before you lay down at night um it's like probably traditional, somewhat old-fashioned that your mother tell you to pray before you go to sleep. And I'm going to tell you to do that also. Every night, just say, um, I think some of you kind of know what's wrong. Hi. Say some type of Hi. prayer to your spiritual team. Asking them for comfort Magic and strength, Magic and they will Magic give this to you. You'll be able to just fall asleep at night. I feel like some of you um, are just kind of sad, and that's why you need this um, this strength card that's coming out here. Because I feel like a lot of you are needing strength, and some of you are having problems falling asleep. Because maybe you had, I'm picking up maybe a death in the family. Or maybe it's just a bad breakup. You just had a lot of 
um, things on your mind. And I think some of you are just really worried about finances, just worried about your everyday life. And you're just needing strength. And the only thing that you need to do, the only thing that you need to do is just pray about, is just pray before you go to sleep or just do meditations before you go to sleep you can use those crystals and just surround yourself with certain crystals that help you sleep and just um just do a simple prayer or like i said meditate and ask your guys to come in to give you strength and give you comfort and i've had to do this before and you will see immediately you'll fall asleep and then so much to where you probably won't just have to do that every night because you're gonna just kind of get used to it and you're gonna build more positivity in your body in your spirit in your soul by doing that every night um before you go to sleep and then you'll find your rest a little easier and you're gonna you're gonna get more peace about this situation also but all is well i think i see everything um going well and i see everything um turning out for the best for for the best for you for whatever this situation is so those of you who are led to cards too let's see why you are having problems sleeping at night Okay, these two cards came out. <laughs> these two cards came out, and uh, I've had problems with this also. This is just because um, some of you have a lot of people pulling on you. This just this card is this is similar to this. This um to the last answer, but um this is this is just someone who deals with a lot of people on an everyday basis and say if you don't necessarily do that as a career as a job you are that go-to person that friend that aunt that cousin that cousin Okay, you guys, I had to pause the video. Kind of look over my baby right now. She's in her feelings because her tablet is going dead, she thinks. But she doesn't really know how to work it properly yet. <laughs> but I was saying, you are that person that everyone goes to for advice. So when you are this type of person at nighttime when you're sleeping, sometimes those energies are still connected to you. This light card here just because you are the light for a lot of people. You are a light worker. And whenever you get off the phone with certain people, this just S card is here because it's saying say a little prayer and immediately shed those energies. Because they're not exactly negative. They're just um, energies, people's emotions that you're picking up on. A lot of you are empaths. So when you get finished talking to people or when you get finished, um, whenever you get off of work, you have to learn how to shed these energies off of you. Okay? Just say a little prayer. Um... You know what? Um, when I was at, I was in a situation a little while ago. Good job, boo. I was in a situation a little while ago where I was dealing with um, some negative entities. And when I got finished with that situation, I got my selenite and I just ran it all down my body. Uh, I did the same thing for my daughter. And I felt so good after that because selenite has to do with clearing. So you guys get you some selenite um, if you want to do that. If not, like if you just really believe in what you're saying, then pray, do some meditations. Just make sure you're a little literally um um pushing these emotions other people's emotions off you other people's negativity off you just other people's just different types of energy that's on you because it they will leave you restless at night and then you try to get to bed and you don't even know what's going on you're just restless like restless for no reason or you're trying to or you're trying to go to sleep 
or I mean you probably have no problem falling asleep but you have problems staying asleep and this is why because you have so much of other people's energies on you okay so that is why you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep okay so release those different type of energies okay and those of you who were led to card oh it's like three cards under here those of you who were led to card um one this is your answer those of you who were drawn to this last card card one uh more so deck one has a couple of cards here okay so the thing is this is not just one big message i don't think i think these cards came out like this because whoever was drawn to this card um there will be a message in here for you some of you this is kind of literal some of you are doing too much in the study area <laughs> some of you i guess are in school or either you're trying to build a career or you're um you're really putting a lot of effort into your work uh some of you just you're really like uh you have a lot going on in your mind here um, a lot of things i'm looking at these butterflies coming out these books in <laughs> in this person's mind which is really saying that when you study like a lot of good things can happen the way i'm reading this right now is that once you release these books or basically <laughs> not just the books literally but once you like release not release but uh, basically just close this you know what I can relate, relate to this now that I'm thinking about it like I said I usually don't have problems with sleeping but um, I know I've had to do this lately you have to literally stop researching so much into the late hours because you need your risk you have to stop studying so much in the late hours because you need your risk close those books after a certain time get off that computer after a certain time and um because once you do that oh my gosh i forgot i did used to go through this i used to go through this i used to research stuff so much because i love education you guys i'm like addicted to knowledge so i don't know if that's something you guys know about me or not i don't know if i said that or not i love to research and i would go so long and when i would get finished i would just be woke and like you, your brain is just too stimulated okay there needs to be a time where you shut things off that's for some of you also let me give you a little tip on my cell phone um i have a black tourmaline and i think it's called emf rays emf rays i think i'm gonna put the right one you guys probably already know what i'm talking about i'm gonna put the right um letters the right abbreviations whatever it's called in the description but that is um you know those there's different energies different rays that can um affect you sleeping and aff affect your mood and your brain activity you know different things like i can't really explain what these things do you're gonna have to google this because like it's just hard for me to explain but you know they come through your tv and it just really affects you affects your body and your brain so um black tourmaline is good for that i have that i put some of that i glued some of that to my cell phone case so and that will also like if you put that on your uh, whatever you're using that would also kind of like help like eliminate some of those um some of those rays that are just not good for you and your body and it can help you fall asleep too just because you're not like you're not like accepting all these like toxic things in your body okay and um i'm also thinking well let's get to this because this is so this is literal also and i feel like some of you are really letting the things that people say get to you and i think some of you are just really having it out with your mother like probably every day or very often and the thing is you're just gonna have to be i hear narcissist how do i pronounce it 
narcissist narciss, narcissist yeah <laughs> behavior you're gonna be have to be the bigger person okay and shut this down as soon as it come go into your room if you're staying with her and really just do not the way i have a video on if you can find it i might link it in the description in the comment section on like how do you um how i think it's called the internet and the narcissist but i also talked about how to um defeat narcissists or how to really um shut them up to the best of your ability so if you can find that then find it because i feel like well i did i gave really good advice with that and some of you guys um are really just having some type of it doesn't ne doesn't necessarily have to be an argument that's for some of you but some of you just really are having mother issues or people that are like a mother figure to you and this is causing you to lose sleep at night. You're wondering why you're sleeping. You have such negativity and bad energy around you. You have to release this before you go to sleep, okay? So you can start sleeping better at nighttime. So that's basically all for this one. This is just some people who you're taking this negativity from her with you to bed. And you wonder why you can't sleep. And this is basically why release those energies by prayer, meditation. I was just saying on the last card, selenite is good for that. You could just um, you could just take it like this and just like go all the way down your, like just go all the way down your body with it. So um, it's good for clearing. And this right here, this is for someone you think they would have came out separately. But you know what? I was just led to pull three cards. So <laughs> I thought I was. So they came out like this. Because this is like for three totally different people. So, but those of you who led to this card. Now, this is for, this could be for some of you. This is someone who, um, it's kind of what it says a little bit. Who your soul really needs attention, okay? Um... Your soul, your spirit really needs attention. You are, how do I put this? You can't get to sleep at night because it's that you have to really take care of yourself. I'm feel, I'm feeling someone, some people that's not really taking care of their self as far as I see some people hanging around the wrong people, hanging around the wrong energies, allowing things to go into their mind that's not supposed to be there so maybe it's, it is a certain type of porn or maybe it is well that's what i'm picking up a certain type of porn and i also feel like it's uh s certain certain knowledge i don't feel like you're getting the knowledge that you're supposed to i feel like someone is leading you the wrong way so um just give and take what this is you guys because this these messages messages are not going to completely resonate with everyone but i feel like someone is like um giving you bad advice and i feel like you're also um getting bad knowledge from, from someone and um so this might not be you but i really feel like someone is going to some type of church or some type of some type of religion some type of spiritual something and these people are just they're lying to you they're not giving you correct information um and this just is what it is this is why your soul needs attention. And some of you are picking up a lot of negativity from this place that you're going to. And I'm just going to just be honest because this is what I'm hearing. A lot of you guys know that um, that I haven't even really shared. I shared a little bit of my experience with the church. So um, you're just going to have to take this however you want to. But this is exactly what I am I'm getting this is just for some of you because some of you it's not that you are at the wrong church some of you are at exactly where you are and I'm not a very religious person I do not go to church I haven't been there in years so. but this is a church for some of you guys your soul is getting the wrong type of attention 
it just is what it is so i don't want you guys to think i'm just coming against some people's churches because this is what i'm hearing and this is just the only way that i can help you guys if you have to listen to the truth that um you're just really getting the wrong information your soul is being fed wrongly so find somewhere else to go or start doing your research by yourself now it doesn't have to necessarily be a church either that's just specifically for someone someone else like your soul needs attention because like some other people around you are just giving you bad advice and i feel like and i'm also hearing take the leadership role more don't just sit back and let people like just feed you garbage and just tell you how to do this or how to do that maybe this is a work environment um step up and actually say no this is just how it has to go like um some of you are just in um are in an abusive relationship you're letting this negativity this negative person drain you drain every bit of positivity out of you this is something that you have to release some of you are just in negative relationships it doesn't have to be um domestic violence in physical abuse it can just be verbal abuse um like i said someone's soul needs attention and that's just this is usually because someone is just drain is you it's just draining your life force. This is when you have to really just step up and say, I'm important, I'm worth it, I can't let you feed me garbage. I can't let you feed my mind, my body, and my spirit garbage. So the thing is you're better than that. I'm picking up on a strong person that is that doesn't feel strong all the time, but you are strong. Somewhere down the road you kinda of lost that. So you're gonna you're gonna get it back and you're gonna be better than ever. You're gonna be uh, I just hear the word solid because some of you are you just feel weak and you feel fragile. But don't let that negativity that those negative thoughts hold you down any longer you're if this person when you, and then some people when you go to this person they're gonna try to say oh you're standing up now you're trying to stand up for yourself now you know oh now you're acting big and bad because you usually don't act like this if they come at you like this say well you know what it's better late than never yes i am if it takes every breath in your body then you stand up for yourself and you get out of this situation okay so the things that I'm saying, you guys, you're going to have to just give and take because I'm talking to so many people in so many different types of situations. So you're going to have to just give and take, you know, certain things. I mean, give and leave certain things that I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying, you're going to have to take certain things that I'm saying and leave certain things that I'm saying because I'm talking to so many different type of people. Okay, but be encouraged. Those of you who are drawn to this, to number one, and this is your situation, just be encouraged because I see a strong, powerful person arising, okay? You're already there. Sometimes we lose that in life. Everyone goes through that. I've been through that, through that where you kind of lose yourself, but you're going to gain yourself and you're going to come back bigger, stronger than ever. Don't have any fear of some of you are just fearing um, leaving a certain person because you feel like... Um, this person really helps you out. No one is helping you if they're keeping you in a negative, if they're feeding your soul crap because it's going to come to a day that they're going to just really suck every life force out of you. No one is not helping you like you're not getting help like that. Whatever you have to do, get out of this situation, okay? You are better than that. You're stronger than that. You're a beautiful person inside and outside, okay? Just know that about yourself. So that is all, you guys. That is all. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe. Bye. Let me know down in the comments if any of this resonated with you. Bye. Boo-boo, you want to tell them bye today? You want to tell the people bye today? Just, you was just talking so much in the video? Huh? You want to tell them bye today? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said hey. Okay, I didn't. I didn't get it. Turn around and say hey.
or say bye bye. 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 <laughs>